At a boy, we picked up another winning bet last night in Major League Baseball. This time by putting a wager on the Oakland A's to upset the Angels, and they did. I'm Professor MJ, former university professor in statistics. Let's wear the dollar chain in order to celebrate this second straight victory. Also, for those of you who bought my preseason picks on the number of regular season wins by some specific teams, we still have hopes of winning the Rockies over 68 and a half wins since they pulled off another big upset at the Dodgers. They need to win today's meeting, which is pretty unlikely, but who knows. If Colorado wins, we will finish with a 6-3 record on those MLB win totals bets. Otherwise, we will have to settle for a 5-4 record, which still yields a profit overall. Now, stay tuned for my very last MLB regular season pick. My favorite betting play in Major League Baseball for Wednesday, October 5 concerns the same game as yesterday, but this time I'm taking the Angels with the minus one and a half run line at minus 110 odds or 1.91 in decimal, still playing in Oakland at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. The Angels have lost the first two games of the series both in extra innings. I believe they will explode and crush the ace today, especially with Shohei Otani on the mound. And it's not like Los Angeles had trouble winning in Oakland. In fact, before losing those two games, they had won five in a row in Oakland. Please also note that when facing a pitcher with a whip statistic above 1.30, the Angels have won six of their past seven matchups. They have also fared well against left-handed pitchers lately, as evidenced by their 5-2 record the last seven times they were in that situation. Meanwhile, the A's have a lot of trouble against strong starting pitchers. Indeed, when that pitcher has a whip stat below 1.15, which is the case of Otani that owns a stellar 1.03 figure, Oakland holds a very bad 17 and 40 record. I have more relevant information for you after this super short break. Yes, I have more clips showing my new puppy Fiji along with my two-year-old Cooper. To me, the Angels will have more motivation to win this game. The whole team will pull hard in order to try to help Otani win a second straight MVP award. Will it be him or Aaron Judge? Otani gets one last chance to improve his numbers. Did you know that over his past six outings, he has obtained a jaw-dropping 0.90 ERA? The starting pitcher for Oakland will be rookie Ken Waldichuk. He has only pitched 27 and two-thirds innings this year, posting a bad 6.18 ERA along with a mediocre 1.37 whip stat. He had a good game in his last start against the Mariners, but prior to that, he had allowed four five and five runs in his previous three outings. I believe the Angels win this game by a 6-1 score. That's it for my MLB predictions during the 2022 regular season. 
a huge thank you for following my work throughout the entire year. With just one day left, I have shared 416 baseball bets to my members on my Patreon page, which led to a profit of 9.29 units. So if your typical wager is $100, that means that by tailing my plays, you would have earned a gain of 100 times 9.29 equals 929 bucks. What does that mean in terms of return on investment, also called ROI? I've often repeated that I recommend betting 2% of your bankroll on each play. If you are betting 100 bucks per wager, that means your bankroll was 5,000. As I said earlier, by tailing all of my plays, you would have earned a profit of 929. So your ROI would have been 929 divided by 5,000 equals plus 18.6%. And that's over a six-month period, so that corresponds to a yearly ROI of double that figure. In other words, a plus 37.2% return on your money. I don't know yet whether I will post MLB videos during the postseason. The best way to find out is by subscribing to this YouTube channel and turning the notifications on so that you get an alert as soon as I publish new content. Be ready for my NFL Week 5 picks, which should be released later today. I'm Professor MJ. Thanks for following my MLB betting journey in 2022. And I hope to see you again very soon. Bye, my friend.